Okay, let's see here. I have 100 progression points. I have 42 out of 60 hunger. So I can, in fact, pro progress to the Acrocanthosaurus if I really want to. Or I can stay as the Carnal. Where the hell am I? Negative 10220. I'm, like, over there is where I should be, I think. Yeah, it's over there I should be. I feel like the map looks different for whatever reason. Hey, you guys, what's up? So today we are playing the Isle. It Anyone on Discord? Online? Can you guys hear me? No? No? Ooh. Don't want to mess with that. That was loud. No? No one on Discord? Oh, weird. I, I guess this is a... Um, <clears throat> solo video. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm doing a solo video. I see a shant. I don't think I want to mess with a shant as a carno. Because that thing will kill me unless I can get behind it. I don't know what the I don't know what the turn radius is like. But yeah, this is a solo video because I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple things with the uh, with the island updates and uh, and hopefully humans and stuff. Um, because humans are still being worked on. It was just over there. He was literally just over. But yeah, whatever. Anyways, back on track of humans. Uh, humans. I'm hoping are going to be in the game soon. I have I haven't heard really much of anything from Dondi about humans and what they're going to mean for the game. Well, I know what they, they're going to mean for the game. They're going to be an absolute death and destruction if you're not smart about hunting them. Um, and I say that the Acrocanthosaurus, something else down there. Don't know what the hell that is. Asaurus, gonna stay the shit away from that. Um, but the reason why I say that is because humans are going to be incredibly strong if. The circumstances are right, meaning if they have a strong rifle, and if yeah, that's cool. Hey, there's food over there. Uh, and if they are well, if they see you first, basically, like if, if you see a human first and you can sneak around, well, then you can kill them. But like, if you're a Tyrannosaurus Rex, for instance, and you see a human, let's say there's a human right there, and I see him right at the water's edge, I charge at him. I'm basically dead. Like, I'm probably going to die because they know I'm there and bad bad things are gonna happen. And it's it's they can shoot you. That's like it's only gonna take a help kill the acro. But yeah, they can they can they can shoot you and kill you. Whereas, you know, if you're an Osteoraptor, you can sneak up behind a human and kill it easily. Very, very easily. Um but it's gonna it's gonna be dependent on like how stealthy you are like you don't want a human to see you because if a human sees you it's probably gonna kill you and it's gonna be a bad time for you but let's go ahead let's try and get this acro because i want to try and get this i want to try and get this acro Ooh. oh yeah look at that he's he's not having any of it am i walking yeah i'm walking come on come on bud You got that turn radius. You got that turn radius. Watch me mess up my progression entirely, and I won't become an acro. Oh boy. Come on. Keep going after me. I want to watch my stamina. Really got to watch my stamina here. If he could get it to a point where... Maybe I could steal some food over here. Hang on. Oh, he's killed another Carno. Come on, we gotta, got is he out of stamina? No, he's not, he's not out of stamina. This is gonna be a little bit, I think. Cause it's literally just a circle jerk fest. So yeah, it seems like it's gonna take a little while for us to kill this guy right here, the freaking Acrodicosaurus. Cause well, turn radius and lag and all that fun stuff, but looks like he's eating up food too. Um, but yeah, what I mean by humans guys is ultimately Humans are dangerous as shit if they can see you and they have a high-powered rifle. You're going to die and you're going to have a very, very bad time. You need to, you need to sneak up on them. You need to use the game mechanics. Use the grass to your advantage if, if the grass is tall enough. Use the trees. Try and not be seen. Otherwise, do not attack because legitimately, guys, would a human really be worth killing as a Tyrannosaurus Rex trying to sneak up on it and that huge risk of dying for such a small meal that won't give you very much hunger at all? Like, unless you are literally borderline starving, I would not mess with it. I would really not mess with it. But that's just some input input on humans. From what I understand, we need to find them uh, or find weapons as a human, and uh, I will definitely be playing as a human. I know that for sure, like 110%. I am going to be a human. I am going to ruin people's days as a human, and I am going to have no ill feelings about it.
Right, I guess we don't need to kill this guy then because he's left the food, which is great. So we can we can do what Carnos do best and eat. I guess, guys, give me some Carno facts. I want to know. I want to know more about the Carno and like what the deal is with this guy. Why he is freaking ugly? Like he is so ugly compared to the Aladicosaurus. Oh boy, it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting dark so fast. Oh boy. Wow, look at that sun. Where, where's the sun? Right here. Look at that sunset. That looks beautiful. That looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for this day-night cycle system to finish. We get night vision. We get all that fun stuff. But until then, we have like this five-second pitch black. Just you can't see anything and you have to cross your toes and your fingers that you don't get bitten or attacked because someone else can see you for whatever reason. And there we go. We're out of the internal darkness and into the somewhat light, I guess. Kind of. Guys, just so you know, if you play this game and you can't see at night, post-processing, turn it low and you will be able to see. Because on Epic, that's what happens. You can't see shit. And it sucks. So definitely turn this down. It also takes off the motion blur when you lower it. So it helps with your game FPS and all that stuff too. So anyways, I wanted to talk about a couple things that were in the Discord server that I had noticed. And uh, before I even get into that, thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing this series. It's absolutely amazing to see the community reach out the way it did. I made a video uh, a couple days ago. I uploaded it. And I was about my stance on the aisle and playing with people versus playing solo. And uh, I addressed a couple concerns that I had about dislikes going up a little bit. I think I was averaging around 750 to 1,000 likes per around 30 dislikes, which was 30 dislikes when I collaborate with people or, or have people in videos. It's a really high number uh, compared to the normal amount of dislikes that I get, which is around 5 to 7. And anyways, in that one video, you guys smashed 1,600 or 1,700 likes with only 30 dislikes. Like, holy shit, you guys had a freaking outreach just like, hey, we like your stuff. And, and just thank you guys very much for that. That was something that boosted my uh, more morale a ton and just really, really solidified how I felt here as a content creator because it, it really, really drove the message home to me that you guys liked it no matter what. Um, but I did say that I was going to continue doing solo content and I think, to, to an extent, I think that I should continue the solo content like this. I mean, I feel like it would be boring watching this right now, I guess like this very scene because there's no real action i'm not biting anything i'm not i'm not trying to take anything head on i'm not trying to conquer anything i'm not trying to pro well i guess i will be trying to progress fairly soon uh in another five points um i don't know i have a weird outlook on it and i feel like if i if i talk to you guys while just this stuff right here is happening it's not a good enough video and i have to do something to make that video better because i ultimately want to try and entertain you guys and grow myself as an entertainer but either way, I know I'm rambling, so thank you guys very much for showing your support in that video because holy shit did you guys ever show some support, and I uh, I really appreciated that. But anyways, moving into the Bone Club. Yeah, the Bone Club is a thing, apparently. I'm going to put it up on screen right now because there is literally nothing happening. There is no one around me. But this is the Bone Club, and it looks crazy good. Now, it's not done. This is the high pole poly on textured, so I assume there's more texturing and stuff that has to be done to this. Um, but... I don't like. I I would assume this is what like the cannibals would use, or the primitive, or the the primitives, or whatever they are. Like, I'd imagine this is what they're gonna use, and it's probably gonna suck to get hit in the back of the head with that as a human, because well, you can see all the spikes and all that stuff. What what kind of bone is made out of? It? What, what what part of a body would you use on that? Like a spine or something? I don't know. Looking at it now, maybe like the jaws or something. I mean, that would make sense. It looks like it's a jaw bone actually. That's that's actually what it looks like. It looks like the jaw. Both ends of the jaw, top and bottom, or maybe both both bottom jaw. I don't I don't know. But wow, it looks cool, and it's really cool to see the game progressing with items, like actual items. Because right now we have no items we can use. We have we can't pick up like a rock down here and freaking eat it or throw it at like a tree or something. We can't we can't do that. We have no items right now. So that is going to be so so cool when it's in the game. There's also something very very cool that I can't tell you about that's going to be in the game because I spoke with Dondi directly about this and I just asked him before I started this sentence and I was like, "Dondi, can I tell them?" He was like, "No, you cannot tell them." So I can't tell you guys something, but something incredible is going to be brought to the aisle and uh God, I'm dying to tell you guys, but I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Next up, we have the bone hook, which looks really freaking cool, too. It's just like, it's it's basically a, a bone that's shaped into a hook, basically. That, that, that's what it is. Um, there's a lot of speculation for this. Maybe it'll be used for climbing. Maybe it'll be used to puncture the skulls of your enemy from behind or something, like right down through the spinal cord. But my top, my top suspicion on this 
is that it's going to be the way you tame other dinosaurs. Now, as you guys know, other player dinosaurs can be tamed. So, like, if someone wanted to tame me and they were a... I think a cannibal can... I think it's the cannibal. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, you guys, so don't take my word for the cannibal stuff, but if it, if it is cannibal, well, then imagine there's a cannibal over right here behind this bush. I'm walking by looking for prey. This guy jumps me, takes a hook, and then, sh like, just shoves it into the corner of my mouth and hauls back and then takes the other hook and shoves it in there, too, and then jumps on my back and hauls back on them like the reins. Well, that's my, that's my, my theory on him. That they're going to be like almost like a horse's reins, where you have the piece of metal in their mouth and you can pull on the on the on the reins to get it to move different directions. Well, I imagine that the hooks are going to be the same type of thing, except it's going to be like a pain compliance thing, where the hook will drive into you and really hurt you if you don't be compliant. Now you can't fight it, and you can probably try and shake the guy off. I'm pretty sure I remember hearing about that in the live stream with Dondi, but. Otherwise, that is basically it for the hook. That's my theory, you guys. Let me know what you think the hook is going to be used for in the comment section below. I'm just looking around because I... Wait, what's that? Is that a... There's a galley. Uh, I see a galley and I see... Is that a dryo? I'm pretty sure that's a dryo. Do I need food? Ooh, I heard the acro. No. I don't need food. Not right now. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'll let that guy live. Because, uh, I really don't need to kill anything right now. It's not really necessary for me. And I guess I could top it up, but... Next up, I'm going to show you guys a picture of the concept for the outside of the atrium. Galley, get lost! I don't want anything to do with you. G go! Get! Get! Yeah, that's right. You better scamper out of here, little guy. So, this is the concept art for the atrium. And this is the outside. I can see, like, a modern transport truck. Now, I wouldn't imagine that transport truck's going to move or anything or anything, anything fancy is going to happen with that. That's the first thing that draws my attention, though. Um, but this is the outside of it, the concept art. And right off the bat, you can see it's going to be a giant dome, basically. It reminds me of that one map from, uh, uh, Primal Carnage. What are these guys doing? What are these Utah Raptors doing? Did he just threaten roar me? Man, I'll come back here as an acro and I'll own you. Don't even try me. I will. I'll sassy walk away. Sassy walk is basically you tip your camera up and you, uh, and your head, like, looks straight up and it looks like you're just being a stuck up snob. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna mess with those guys because two, uh, it looks like those Utahs are with it. And, uh, yeah, if one of those bite me and I start bleeding, I only have a limited amount of time I can use uh, before I completely limp out. And not a good time. But, anyways, back to the atrium. Um, it's. It, yeah, it looks like that one map from Primal Carnage. You guys, I don't know if you've seen my Primal Carnage videos or if you've played the game, but like you're inside and you're like inside a giant dome that has like a big red button that you can press and it's basically the, the screw you button. It's the, it's the holy shit button. It's a panic button. You press that, everything gets nuked and you can only do it once. Yeah, kind of. that's kind of lame, I know. But either way, um, this thing looks pretty cool. I, I genuinely think it looks cool. It has a giant freaking bulkhead door. You can see the yellow door there. And, uh, I think that's enough for that picture because, yeah, there's not much more to say about it. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. I think the concept art looks absolutely amazing, and, uh, I really can't wait to see that in the game. Next up, we have something that Dondi spoke about, too, with the atrium, which was, like, a back waterway entrance where, like, land or sea creatures could get in and stuff. So, that's right here. Uh, you can see, like, the giant pump, uh, pump, so I'm assuming that's, like, intake and outtake for water and stuff or something like that. Or maybe oil or gas or something like that. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure guys, but that would be my first guess for that But you can see like the the waterway and this is supposed like every building in the game has to have one flat, a fatal flaw Like it can't be like okay, you're a human you're inside a, a castle There's no holes anywhere, so it's perfectly safe from the dinosaurs. They cannot get no no It doesn't it doesn't work like that. That's unfair That is not good fun gameplay because it makes a restrictive factor for other people and then they get frustrated and being frustrated in a game There is nothing more annoying than being frustrated in a game but basically, uh, this is a open flaw. I think there is something else that's a flaw, like a, a top part where flyers can get in and stuff, and like other buildings will have other things that uh, that have flaws where other creatures can get in. So I think that's a really good game mechanic. Like it kind of adds a bit of security, but not too much security, because you know something can mess your day up, and it can do it pretty freaking fast. That's basically all I have to show you guys in those screenshots right now. But we're gonna get back into this. We are we can progress to acro. I mean, we can we can totally progress to acro. We have. We have the technology, we have the power, we can, we should... Did I hear something? I don't know. 
Oh, well, we have the technology, we have the power. And, uh, do I want to progress right now or not? I don't think I want to progress just yet, because I'm enjoying this guy and his endless stamina. Like, never-ending freaking stamina. Maybe I should head to tries. Let's see what the deal is there. Oh, there's that, there's that acro. There's the Utahs. Oh, that's a berry. Oh, yeah, berries are so broken right now. Guys, if you're a big predator, don't let a berry get behind you. If you're a Rex or an Acro and you see a berry, you face that sucker no matter what or you get your ass out of town because berries right now in their turn radius, they will be able to kill you. They will ruin you. I'm not worried about this guy because I can outrun it. But the problem with berries right now is they get by your ankles and they have such a, they have such a, uh, a quick turn radius that you just cannot shake them no matter what. They will, they'll bleed you out. They'll kill you. They're going to end your life, kill your family, kill everyone that you've ever been associated with. Get it with Acrocanthosaurus. What are you doing? Is, it, is there another acro up here? I feel like I should go acro. I always keep an eye out because, like, if I see acros, odds are there's a Rex. And if there's a Rex, it's probably in the freaking tree line getting ready to ambush them. We're gonna watch out for that. I really have to watch out for that. I'm kind of wondering how would the acro play ultimately would it be a scavenger would it be an ambush predator would it just be a i'm gonna come in and kill anything that's weaker than me and slower than me predator like i assume it's just to kill stuff that's slower because i mean it does some crazy bleed and uh, it's really freaking strong now i see the rex i know you guys don't see the rex as a scavenger but i see the rex as a scavenger because no one wants to mess with you if you find a corpse and you see people around it why kill them when you can just walk right up to the corpse no one is going to contest you and say hey no you can't do that to me good sir i want that for no they're not going to do that they're going to walk away and they're going to just bow their heads and just be like yeah we know you can't we can't hurt you so we're just going to let you have this because we're going to die otherwise and I mean, obviously, then if they try and fight, well, uh, you can you can just you can just kill them. I mean, uh, you're you're a freaking Rex. You're wicked strong. Unless it's another Rex. If it's another Rex, well, then you're in for a really bad time. But that's perfectly fine. And I have enjoyed my time as a Carno, but ultimately, I need to progress to the Acrocanthosaurus. So I'm going to go ahead and progress now. I just need to find a good bush to squat down in. Well, I'm there. I'll take a crap or something. Alright, so I messed up entirely. Apparently the Acrocanthosaurus only requires 60 minutes. I had 100 and 131. Holy shit. Alright, whatever. We're unlocking it. We are a Acrogrossoskinosaurus. Ew. Where am I? Oh no. I'm I'm way this shit out, aren't I? Oh my god. Why the 400 quarter? How long has it been up? 14,000 seconds. So it's going to start lagging. Oh boy. 1,700 health, 100 hunger, 80 thirst, 100 stamina. This guy's a little bit fast, but... I feel like he's blocking out the hell it Hey, they removed the uh they removed the gravel bag slippers from his uh from his feet. He doesn't sound weird anymore, but he freaking moves weird. I don't know, guys, that looks kind of weird to me. Looks like his legs jitter. Maybe that's just me. That might that might genuinely just be me. Woo, that's uh that's a pretty vicious roar. Let's Shit, yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, I'm, I was gonna add something in, guys. Apparently the Rex got a, uh, got a speed buff, and with that speed buff... Wow, this guy turns majestically. Holy crap. Look at that. That's great. Um, but with that speed buff, apparently in a straight line, from what I've heard from a couple people, I can't confirm this because I haven't tried it, but from what I've heard, the Rex in a straight line can outrun the Acro after a very, very long time, and I think the Rex might have equal or more stamina than the Acro, so if you see a Rex, just keep your distance. Don't don't try and engage it, because it will two-shot you. It will kill you in two shots. Like, you might get two two bites and 40 bleed, but that's probably not going to kill the Rex. I don't think it will kill the Rex, actually. Um, but with that said, I'm going to make my way back to the 50-50 lake, I think. Maybe I'll... Is there another lake around here? I don't know. When, i got to learn the lake coordinates. Yeah, screw it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the 50-50 lake. Oh, something else I should probably tell you guys while I'm on the way there. Um, because I'm going on the 50 50 lake, uh, 50 50 lake, obviously. Um, a lot of you guys want me to do collaborations with Riot and Meaty Lock in the aisle again. And, uh, there will be collaboration videos coming up in the future. We have a lot of stuff that we're getting a first look at from the, uh, from the developer Dondi, which is really freaking cool. And you guys are going to love that stuff. Absolutely love it. Um, it's going to be exclusive stuff for us. And it's just cool. I, I freaking can't wait. I seriously cannot wait but um as far as collaborations go right now with me and uh, and those two guys they had i feel like my footprints are too small 
My feet are bigger than my footprints. What the hell, man? That's weird. Um, as far as collaboration videos go with them right now, they are really busy people. They they do arc videos, ton, like a ton of arc videos and a ton of different videos for games. And like, here's something here's something that's a downfall uh, as a content creator and playing the aisle. The aisle is incredibly time. It just takes so much time, guys. It seriously takes so much time. And we only have so many hours in a day to get things done because there is a lot of work behind the scenes for us to get these videos out to you daily, let alone, let alone two videos a day. It takes a ton of work, and any YouTube content creator will tell you that. The biggest drawback for the aisle is that you have to wait minutes in order to progress. So as a Dryo, you need to wait 30 minutes. And if you could survive that 30 minutes, especially as a Carno Dryo, because now Carno Dryos need to kill and eat stuff, um... The problem is that if you're a Dryo and you somehow make it your 30 minutes, you need to go to the next tier, which is Astro or whatever else it is for, it is for Herbivore. Galley, I think it is, or something. Um, and then, you know, Hera, obviously, if you want to do that. But if you want to play as, like, a big Predator or a big Herbivore or, like, a new thing uh, for, for whatever reason, it's a, there's a new thing out, and I want to show you guys. I have to progress through the enti entire tree so it can quickly turn into three to four hours of playing this game before I can even get to recording it. Because I know you guys are going to want to see the new stuff or you're not going to want to see me play as a Dryo. I mean, who the hell wants to watch me play as a Dryo? I'm literally just going to be running around around, for squeaking, being a nuisance, and doing absolutely nothing in the video, like, that, that is the biggest drawback of the aisle, and that's the biggest, that's the best explanation I can give you guys, it takes too much time to record an episode to give to you guys, and then lose out on recording other material that you guys want to see that takes a fraction of the time, it takes me about, it would take me, if I wanted to do a Rex progression series, um, it, like, to get to Rex alone, if I don't die, Freaking Dryo. Look at that guy. See that? He tried to bite me. Dryos are, are horrible for it too, guys. Dryos, if they get behind you, they will bite you and they, they can actually kill you because their turn radius is so much better. Like, it is ridiculous. Um, the best thing you can do in that case, I think you can actually uh, hit escape and then log out. And before, like, they can even get you to limp, like, they won't get you anywhere near limp, you can log out and, uh, and you'll be good. But if you get one of those guys on your back, it's really freaking hard to shake them. But anyways, back onto the uh, onto the video. Um, yeah, it takes a really long time for us to make these videos. Not for me, primarily, because I play the aisle so much anyways, I usually have something ready to go to record with. Because um, I played a lot of my downtime and stuff. Like, I don't just record this game for the sake of recording. Like, I actually play it on my downtime. Like, I, I play the crap out of this game when I'm not recording it. Which is probably a downfall for me, because I, pro I probably should record everything I do in the game. Um, but... Regardless, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, now, as far as the guys, I mean, obviously they have different stuff, and it just takes so long to record an episode that it's really hard to get a collaboration set up, but we will be doing collaboration videos in the future. Uh, when humans come out, we have one planned. We have a Hyper Rex vi uh, battle video planned for a bunch of Rexes to fight a, uh, a Hypo Rex. Um, Dondi's on board with that. He's going to help us out with that. And uh, any new creatures, obviously, we will all be collaborating on that stuff eventually in time. But... At least now you guys understand because I've seen so many comments about it and I had to give you guys an explanation as to why uh, we have not been doing collaboration videos lately or like why there's been so little aisle content on their side. They they just don't have time to play the game as much as I do. I probably shouldn't have followed these guys up here because now we have to go down a mountain and uh, I really don't think we're gonna make Well, you know what? We should make it though. If we crouch, lower our center of mass and slowly make our way down... Freaking die. I don't want to die. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we'll make it down this. It's pretty easy to make it down really steep hills if you crouch and uh, and just walk slowly. And you're very cautious of where you go. Alright, so we can hear some herbivores down here. I either hear a Stego or an Anki. I think it's one of those two. Not entirely sure. Why someone would want to play as an Anki, though, is beyond me, because the Anki is just incredibly useless right now, and it is just not a good time. But we're going to crouch in through these woods, these bushes, see if we can see them. Hopefully nothing can see or hear us. I hear a galley losing its mind down there. That is the most annoying shit ever. People force screaming as the galley. Hey, look, there's a Dryo there. All right, so basically, what's gonna happen is me and Angie are gonna take the right side. Nyx is gonna go around to the left side, and hopefully, if we're lucky enough, we will cast a net down on something and attack from both sides. And hopefully, we can outrun. I'm pretty sure we can outrun it no matter what because we're fast as hell. We're we're like faster than Keemstar right now. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you guys get the idea. We can outrun 
most anything that is there, and if we attack from both sides, well then whatever is there should not stand a chance. And it's screaming like crazy, dude. You can hear that. I hear something behind us. I think it's an Ostaraptor. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it screaming. Start crouching. Gonna try and sneak in through. Now, I think there's a shunt and a stego or something there, and it sounds like it's being Allosaurus. Winter is the aloe. All right. So we're good. We're good. All right. So we have three people. We have an Allosaurus, three Acros. All right. We're good. We should be good. There's the shunt right there. There is the stego. Like we, oh, there's two, two stega, or two, yeah, two shunts. Not exactly sure how we're going to get them. I'm probably going to die. Now that's, sh that shunt, I think that's even a tier higher than the Rex at this point. So it's going to do crazy damage. If it lands a hit on us, we're screwed. Like we will be almost one shot, if not one shot. It's in, it, we're in for a bad time if we get hit basically. So we have to be really cautious about this and be very careful about if we get hit or not. I'm hoping we're going to get caught up. Freaking galley. Galley's stupid. Alright, stay on track. Oh, I, won't, I almost got you then. Keep going. Keep going. Chase after those shunts. And the stegos. Got you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Shit, yeah. Haha. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why, hello, good sirs. We're going to be the ones that will be eating you today. Yeah. Shit, yeah. All right. We got to be really careful about this. Because our stamina is a bit low. But we can easily follow their footprints now. Is that a Maya? I think there's a Maya there. I mean, they could easily turn and face us, and they would probably stand the better chance. Like, they would have the better odds of getting out of this. Oh, shit! We just lost. We just lost Angie. Oh, watch out for the shot, Nyx! Pissed off Shant. Hey, you better run. Oh, it's limping. Oh, it is so limping. Did it just die? That one was dead. Where's that Maya? We lost Angie. But we got a shant. Damn. Now we have full food. We've lost one of our people, Angie. Rip Angie in the comment section, but at least we have a full stomach now. And this stego, or this shant, I mean, is dead. We uh, we managed to track him down. Uh, Angie actually lagged into it while it was sitting in the forest, which is incredibly lucky, but also unlucky at the same time to find it. Um, and then we managed to finish off the, uh, the stego, and there was a Maya that managed to get away. It was attacking for a little bit, but it, uh, it knew it was outmatched when, uh, when we started biting down on it. But anyways, you guys, I am going to end that episode right there, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash the crap out of that like button, so I know you like these solo gameplay videos of the aisle. I will see you in the next video.